As part of their mission to simplify science and promote environmental awareness in their fun-filled learning experience, the Scientific Centre in Kuwait provides families and children with an entertaining journey into the natural world. The three main attractions include the aquarium, which takes you on a tour of three different environments, the Discovery Place and IMAX. Sarah Glove has more in this special report. The Scientific Center in Kuwait is constantly developing its main attractions, programs and activities. The current exhibition at the Discovery Hall is the Robot Zoo, which mechanizes eight ordinary animals into huge robotic creatures, revealing nature's magic as master planned machinery. We, uh, we provide new exhibits every six months, something we call the traveling exhibit. It's, uh, it's a new concept worldwide where uh, the exhibits are uh, transferred from one scientific center to another over a period of six months. We started this, uh, uh, the traveling exhibits in, uh, in October of 2009 and we have had seven exhibits so far and the current exhibit is called Robot Zoo and basically talks about the anatomy of different animals, but you see them through uh, mechanical parts, so you get to see how they work uh, through the mechanical part. This exhibit will be uh, available until the 23rd of November, then we close down the Discovery Place for a few weeks, we dismantle the current exhibit, we ship it to, this one is actually going to Romania when it's done, then we'll bring in a new exhibit from uh, the Netherlands, and it's called uh, Plantastic. And it's basically about uh, plants. We have a planetarium, a small planetarium that, uh, that shows a star show, the Kuwait uh, star show basically. We still get to see uh, what the skies look like in Kuwait and what stars and planets are visible from, from Kuwait. And we also uh, do a lot of uh, interactive uh, workshops. Uh, probably you cannot see them now, but part of uh, the new film, Great White Sharks, we are doing interactive workshops for our visitors about the sharks and uh, the different uh, shark anatomy. An entertaining journey into the aquarium takes you on a tour of three different environments, desert, coastal and marine, and the services they offer have been around since the center's establishment. We have uh, feeding shows where, uh, where the visitors get to see our divers dive into the main tank or the uh, sharks and rays tank and see our divers feed the, the sharks and rays and fish on a, on a daily basis. And then we also have uh, another program for uh, licensed divers who would like to experience a new thrill in, uh, in their life and are basically have, have, have are tired of swim, uh, diving in the sea uh, without no excitement. So they come to our main tank and they swim side by side with the, with the sharks. Well, our large sharks, the sand tiger sharks, uh, are brought from uh, South Africa. We have uh, the penguins are not native of Kuwait, but they, uh, we, brought, uh, we brought them from, uh, from England, which brought them from South Africa in turn. Uh, we have a lot of, uh, and, uh, for example, we have the caracal, which uh, used to live in Kuwait until the 1930s, and it is extinct now. So we have it to display uh, to our visitors what Kuwait used to look like in the past and how we are endangering our, uh, our ecosystem. The IMAX theater, the largest in Kuwait with a giant screen 15 meters high and 20 meters wide, offers 3D educational and documentary films in Arabic and English. Well, IMAX basically is a unique experience, whether it's in 2D or 3D. The visitor gets to see the films in a 300 square meter screen, which is the largest in Kuwait and they, the, the experience will transmit them into the film itself and they'll feel as if they are part of uh, that film, they're not just viewers. The Scientific Center is always coming up with new innovative ways to further their mission of simplifying science and promoting environmental awareness in a fun-filled learning experience. From the Scientific Center, this is Sarah Glub reporting for English News.